If there is one thing the lockdown has taught me is how to photograph at home. So I'm going to try some photography at home using my Linux DCR 250. So let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I'm on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Sudhika. Welcome to my channel, which is all about photography, travel, vlogging, cameras, and I put out new photography tutorials every Wednesday for you guys. So if you want more photography tips and tricks from me every Wednesday, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon. And today I'm going to try some macro photography at home using my Linux DCR 250. I'm going to use the Linux with my uh, AFP 70 300mm lens and Nikon D5300. Let's begin with close up of some vegetables. First green peas. <laughs> Next, I've cut some okra and placing it on black cloth. Some veggies like capsicum have some amazing textures like these seeds. This looks like a pointed hat. close up of a leaf light gets reflected in rainbow colors of the surface of a cd let me drop water on it too close up of my eye self eye time Let me click my camera itself the Nikon Coolpix P500 Also my mobile phone camera Let's click my chess board woolen textures I'll arrange these match sticks like this so that one match stands out conveying that you need to stand out from the crowd I've tied them using some rubber band match sticks you can do so much with them I'll bend them like so so that i get the shape of a person taking a new match bending it here to make the head near the bottom to make the legs one last time in the middle to make the stomach here i have my match stick figure ready to use i have placed the figure on a black book and i'm going to direct my torch light to my lens to get some lens flare and that's it Just like uh, the match sticks we can use safety pins to make figures too. So let's take a pin, bend them once around the middle. That's it. If you have a bigger pin, you may bend it again, but I like it this way too. Now for the setup, I have downloaded Hearts Bokeh background from Google and opened it on my laptop in full screen. My pins are placed here on a pile of books. With my camera and Rainox ready, check out the view. They look like two lovers. Next, I will place a glass of water. Place a straw in it to focus at the surface. Remove the straw. Pour water into it, and click a picture of this beautiful splash. 
I have this bowl where I have some water and I'm gonna drop some water slowly with an ink dropper and catch the shot. High shutter speed of 1 by 200 and flash is needed. A remote helps me to click without any hassle. So I focus on the water surface by placing the dropper there and start the action. Press the remote when the drop falls in the bowl. I may add ink into the water to give it a different color. You may add gels, milk, whatever you may have. I will also add some oil to give it a greasy feel. Also whisk the water a bit so that the oil unsettles. And I can get these patterns in the water by clicking with the flash with diffuser and flash with my camera's flash I can get different colors of this pattern I didn't know my home is so photogenic <laughs> the lockdown has made me appreciate my home in a better way I can photograph at home I don't necessarily need to travel to the dark to do that although I love it Anyway guys, if you like this video and found it to be useful, give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about which macro photography tutorials you wanna see next on my channel. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post new videos. Here is my previous Renox tutorial and here is a playlist that lists all my Renox photography tutorials. Please go check these videos out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos every Wednesday on my channel. Bye!